Hey guys, the 2023 full Formula One driver lineup is here, so let's go through team by team. But first of all, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, as always, do all of that, and off we go. So Mercedes, no changes at Mercedes. They're still gonna have George Russell and Lewis Hamilton. Uh, Lewis Hamilton is willing very, very hard to get back to winning races. George Russell is his first win in 2022, and I believe the Mercedes car is gonna be uh, much better next year. So. Pretty excited about that one. Red Bull, no change neither. Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. Uh, third driver should be Daniel Ricciardo, which gives Red Bull a really good backup in case anything happens. Uh, Red Bull definitely a team to beat since two years. Uh, I think they're gonna be again that next year. We've got no changes at Ferrari neither. Uh, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Leclerc's willing to try to go to for the World Championship. Sainz trying to also, I think, willing to, uh, to kind of get to that level and, uh, and contest Charles a little bit more. The big change at Ferrari is Mattia Binotto has left the team. So um, new team manager, new structure. Uh, hopefully they can execute better um, into the race as they're the pace in qualifying. Now we'll talk about Alpine forcing the constructor in 2022. Two French drivers, Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly. Um, that's gonna be really cool. French team, French drivers. Um, I, I truly hope that they can work well together and that there's not uh, an internal fight in between who's gonna be the best French driver with the other, who's gonna be the leader after Fernando Alonso has left the team. Uh, so the, the good thing is that they are both race winners. Uh, they both have a race win. They're both very experienced. The past is, is behind them. They used to be not that friends, but I think now it's a different story. They, they're a bit more mature or they are more mature and ready to go. So I truly hope that that relationship would work well, but it would need to the management to keep an eye on it uh, as it can very easily become the French war well, within the French team, but I hope not. And I'm sure Halpin's gonna uh, get that under control nicely. McLaren, we've got London Norris, uh, very, very strong part of the team now. Uh, pretty much uh, a long-term contract. Very strong season again, very impressive. Over the last two years, I've been on top of Daniel Ricciardo a lot. And next to him, we've lost an Australian to get a new Australian, Oscar Piastri. Oscar has shown in Formula 2 in 2021, an incredible season. Uh, step on the side in 2022. The only downside, the only negative part right now, Oscar is all that story between uh, Alpine and McLaren and, and Alpine being financing his career and then him jumping into the boat with, with McLaren and Steve Alpine. It wasn't you know, the, the nicest way of getting into Formula 1, but he's in a, he's in a nice team uh, next to Lando Norris, he can learn a lot, he's a very talented driver. So I'm excited to see actually what he can do uh, in the orange car. Alfa Romeo, no change Alfa Romeo, Valtteri Bottas, a lot of experience, Guang Yu Zhu, uh, very impressive first season. Uh, I must say I'm, I'm very pleased with what Zhu has been able to show. Um, early in the season, Valtteri was on top, obviously with all the experience he had, but later in the season, I felt like Zhu went, uh, went really well and, and, and starting showing stronger pace. So Alfa Romeo, no change of lineup, uh, two good drivers. Zhu is much more experienced now, so that's gonna be quite exciting. Aston Martin, uh, well, Lance Stroll hasn't moved. Uh, that's no big surprise as his dad owns the team, uh, but a big news is Fernando Alonso joining the team. I think mean, that's gonna be a really big boost for the team. Uh, Fernando is, is an incredible driver, he's an incredible motivator. He always wants to do more, always wants to push people to do more. So uh, I think for Aston Martin, that's a very uh, neat and, and clever move. And I'm excited to see what Fernando can do there. Um, the only thing I would say is that Fernando likes to perform and if the car is not good, it gets um, hangry, uh, which is good, uh, which is good. But uh, I mean, drivers don't have a level of passion very high, uh, which is part of our job, I guess. So let's see what Fernando can do down there. Alfa Tauri, Yuki Tsunoda is now the leader uh, of the team. He's, he's, done, he's got some good experience now in Formula One. He needs to step up and take that uh, place of leader next to Nick De Vries. Um, that's Formula E World Champion, Formula Two World Champion. Uh, as a not a straightforward career, but very talented driver, deserves a seat in Formula One. Absolutely, yes. So I'm excited to see what that's gonna be. The only race the race did in 2022 was Monza and uh, it's called points. So uh, pretty amazing there. Um, so I'm excited to see what, what it does. And uh, hopefully, as I say, Yuki with the experience can lead the team while uh, Nick gets used to Formula One or the racetrack and so on. And then he can uh, also come in as a co-leader of the team. Now we've got Haas. Uh, Haas has a change. Kevin Magnussen is still there, which is great news. And uh, Nico Hülkenberg is coming back to Formula One. I personally, 
think it's not the choice that I would have made. Um, I think Mick Schumacher did a good end of the season and, and there were no real reason to change it, uh, change him. But the team wanted um, a different driver. Uh, so they've, they've called Nico Hülkenberg. Um, Nico has shown some great pace in the, in the past. We used to be teammates in 2007 in Formula 3. We used to be competitor then in GP2 in 2009. Very talented driver. So let's see what he can do uh, at Haas. But yeah, again, that's not the choice that I would have made. And then Williams, Alexander Albon stays at Williams. After what he's shown in 2022, there's no reason absolutely changing. Very impressive season. And next to him comes an American driver, uh, which is awesome to see. Uh, Logan Sargent has done a really good job in Formula 2. I've been looking at Logan Sargent since 2022 in the Formula 3 uh, when he was fighting Oscar Piastri, Theo Porsche. Very, uh, very happy that Logan is making it to Formula 1. It's great news for the US and um, with the Netflix series Formula 1 has boomed here. So that's going to be exciting to see and watch. Please, as always, like, comment, subscribe and I'll get back to you in the comments.